I attended a suburban, predominantly African-American high school in southwest Atlanta, Georgia, Westlake High School. My high school was one of the top high schools in the county. It held leading programs, opened the students to advanced placement classes, and even encouraged students to conquer dual enrollment. I was a part of a smart class, class of 2017. My school wanted a persona to the outside world that we were smarter than most. We were forced to be away academically and physically that will paint us in a positive light that isn't below the standards. My school recognized my class potential freshman years. We had the biggest honor roll ceremony in years of the school. We were pushed to always be smarter and wiser so we could score high and make the school look good. My high school called it getting ready for the real world when in actuality, it was simulation. There's a lot of discussion about modern youth being supposedly less ready for adulthood than their parents' generation. The school system and parents should be working together to raise educated students. Schools should be accountable for instructing students to be knowledgeable about the world around them. It should be a joint effort between parents and educators to train the next generation of children to be independent and prepared for what's ahead of them. Some of my high school teachers were concerned that teaching lessons around more real-world subject matters would take away from the traditional topics like X plus 2 equals 4 or even Shakespeare. Therefore, my high school had an intense focus on standards to look good on paper, then preparing us for what's to come in our secondary education. Field trips, fairs, and other programs we visited, we not only had to look up to par, but also speak articulately to represent our school in a well manner. If asked about our school, we were to only speak highly of it. I remember attending a college fair and I made sure to talk very proper because the teachers would stand behind all the students and monitor their speaking. The lady I was talking to from a college didn't even think I attended a school on the south side. She thought I attended a school up north in Fulton County. I tried talking professional when in actuality, I just wanted to talk regular. I wanted to be myself and not only show her who I was as a student, but a person as well. My school taught us to talk to people like we were on a job interview. It wasn't right to have to be someone you weren't or change how you talk to be accepted by people. I literally had to be someone I wasn't when I wasn't even someone bad or far-fetched. It took me to graduate from high school and enter college to see the good and bad of what my high school taught me. The good in college is I can do an oral presentation no matter who my audience is. The bad is I'm not showing who I really am because I'm used to masking that to be a proper way or a way to be accepted. Therefore, I decided I was going to be me. I was either going to be accepted or not. I refused to fall into the pit of making yourself a way just to score a big job or get into a good program. I was influenced by my peers in college. I realized people come from all over the world speaking in so many different ways. I'm just one out of a thousand more students who speak different or with an accent. I'm also one of thousands who want to still score that big job, being their regular self. My views on language influences my future career choices because I'm entering communications. In a way, communications major teaches you how to talk and be clear for an audience, but also my major teaches me how to be myself. I'm able to create myself to be how I want to be for an audience that accepts me for me. If I'm on the radio, I can talk how I want, or if I'm in front of a camera, I can talk how I want, because I'm me, and people will accept me more by being my true self and not an imitation of someone else.